Well, I have uh, uh, presented the uh, ecosystem of uh, Morocco ecosystem for uh, cybersecurity, uh, which covers all kinds of aspects related to uh, cybersecurity, uh, strategic institutions within the country, regulations, policies, uh, human capital, training programs, uh, either from universities or from uh, vocational training. Also, the uh, cybersecurity literacy program offered by several institutions, such as the uh, development, uh, Digital Development Agency, which is a strategic uh, national organization in charge of the digital strategy of the country. Uh, I've also focused on the uh, uh, research and innovation through different initiatives taking place in Morocco, uh, mainly in universities, but also in partnership with the several leading and international organizations like Deloitte, uh, Thales, and also uh, uh, Temper Executive, which is launching a, an uh, excellent center in Marrakesh, Marrakesh, Morocco, that would uh, be opened by 2024. Uh, there's also a very important partnership with uh, Tempra uh, uh, through Metaramix uh, 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 joint venture, I guess, to uh, uh, roll out and launch several training programs uh, uh, targeting uh, different categories of Moroccans uh, that will enable them to have uh, uh, skills related to cybersecurity. The other, or the last probably uh, feature I have covered in the presentation is the uh, uh, technologies, infrastructure available in the country to support cybersecurity, either cloud computing platforms, uh, networks, uh, 4G, 3G, and others. And uh, that, that's, uh, in short, what uh, is being covered, yeah. Well, I, I have uh, addressed several uh, uh, issues related to cybersecurity, especially the fact that uh, COVID-19 was accelerator of digitalization throughout all uh, the, the countries and the, uh, the sectors, education, healthcare, uh, businesses, and so on and so forth. But at, at the same time, uh, was also accelerator uh, of uh, attacks, cyber attacks, according to different uh, reports uh, produced by international organizations, the cyber attacks also followed the same trend. So the same trend that's, uh, you know, uh, was uh, related to the uh, adoption of digital uh, solutions as means to, uh, you know, to uh, overcome the, the the pandemic or to uh, mitigate the, the impact of the pandemic on different strategic uh, sectors like education, healthcare, and, and other businesses. Uh, so uh, there is also another uh, important aspect that was covered in the uh, presentation such as the, the, the top uh, threats or cybersecurity threats that were also uh, uh, targeting all kinds of platform during this pandemic. And then, of course, they have presented the, the uh, cybersecurity uh, supporting ecosystem within Morocco, which could be also quite similar to many countries because you have the three components I've just mentioned. You have the uh, uh, strategic organizations uh, like the the, the National Cybersecurity Force here in UK, you have uh, others, a similar uh, institution in Morocco, you have the regulations, you have the, uh, the technological infrastructure, either for um, networking, communications, or also uh, cloud computing and others. You have also human capital, which is key for, you know, uh, uh, running out all kinds of strategies related to cybersecurity. Uh, also for uh, managing cybersecurity within the, 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 the country's vital organizations. Uh, so, and the, the, the other component is related to innovation and the research and innovation, which is key to be uh, at the forefront of, you know, the technology and the best practices in terms of uh, cybersecurity. This is in short what was covered in the presentation.